One word to sum up the year. Surreal. I think surreal is the right word because it's been surreal on all fronts in all ways. Hey, I'm Arlo Parks and this is my Behind Me album with Deezer. I mean, I think the most unexpected thing was probably Billie Eilish posting about it. I mean, I was a bit like... Because I didn't, I don't know, like, she she reached out to me or she mentioned me on the Vanity Fair thing and I was like, wow. And then just to see her being like, yes, it's out. I was like, oh my God, but it's you talking about me, my stuff, wait. And I was very shook. I was very happy. <laughs> I mean, this weekend was probably one of the biggest weekends of my life. I think it was this sense of excitement, nerves, there were just like a million things racing through my head because this is something that I'd worked on for like close to a year. And it's something that I've probably been thinking about since I was like 13 years old. Um, but it was incredible. I'm transported to summer 2016, Hyde Park, just being with my friends after GCSEs. This whole album is about being a teenager. It's about those experiences that shaped me and those conversations and those moments where I felt so elated or so down. It's kind of about the balance of the highs and lows of, of coming of age, I guess. It would have been a different record, I think. I think it would have been less sure of itself in a way. I think having all that time to ponder and like solidify what I wanted to do with it made it feel very confident and quite me, like at its core. Cool. I mean, I think for this album, the setup that I had was perfect. It was an Airbnb in East London in Hoxton, had all my candles set up, all my incense, all my hippie stuff. I was feeling good. I had like a fridge filled with pasta and like chorizo and halloumi and I literally made the same thing every single day for like two weeks. Um, but there was a beautiful sense of comfort to it, like making an album in London in the place that I grew up living in and where all the important stuff in my life has happened. So honestly, Airbnb, London with plenty of pasta and Casaleo del Diablo red wine is the, is the key. Um, I would say my favourite song production wise and lyrically is Hope just because of that like I don't know I think in that song there's just an awareness of that things can be bad but that they will get better and I think that active commitment to being positive is what I love about that song and also those drums are like exactly how I envisaged them you know I was listening to like Reckoner by Radiohead I was listening to Changeling by DJ Shadow all these songs with really crunchy drums Tame Impala as well and I feel like I managed to take that sound and make it my own one mate that's tough okay i think my favorite set of lyrics on the album is probably from bluish and it's like that first little bit that's smothered me with fake blood and ginger around your throat always charming and balanced that's why it hurt the most i just pictured like this night this halloween night that i had with somebody and I think the imagery just came flooding to me and I think that's what my favourite lyrics are. It's when it almost strikes like a lightning bolt and I'm like, where did that come from? I love it. That's why I like that one. Anyone. Oh my God, that's so hard. Um, three people who I'd love to listen to this album. I'd love the photographer Wolfgang Tillmans to listen to this album because... He is incredible and I've been inspired by him so much. And I think that having like a cultural figure that I really look up to listening to my music would be amazing. I'd love Xavier Dolan, the director, to listen to um, my music and put it in one of his films, please. Um, and I would love Frank Ocean to listen to it as well because he's like one of the most influential people in terms of my music and just like as an artist, I really look up to him. I think either this album is meant to be performed one-on-one, -on -one, so just on a guitar to like your closest friend, or at Glastonbury in front of loads of people. So those messages at the heart of the song is just like everyone shouting together, like you're not alone, or you know, that would be so galvanizing, that would be incredible. And eat some food. 